Hey y'all, it's Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee. And today we are back with another Scraps to Embellishment um, video. This week's theme is King for the Day. So, anything manly. Um, this is for um, the embellishment swap over on Ginger's Corner. Um, I will post that info below. There's lots of others that are creating along each week. Uh, some of them are participating in the swaps, and some of them are just using their scraps to make embellishments. So, um, check them out either way. All the links are below. Um, today, I am doing the little gnome. You guys know I love these gnomes. Um, I was trying, racking my brain to figure out what I was going to do. Um, what I could do manly. <laughs> And, um, I thought about fishing. I thought, nah, I don't want to do the fishing gnomes. I already did those for a different swap. So, I did go through my gnome stuff and found out that I had the camping accessories, um, to go with my gnome. Now, this is a Timu die. I do not think it is available. Um, this is the base of the gnome. This is all the little camping extras. Um, it does come with, I think it's eight... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight different things that you can have them to hold. It does come with legs to give them legs, make them taller. So I did that a little bit. Um, it has the hot dog on a stick for, you know, roasting weenies. Then it has a map, a camera, an axe, binoculars, the wood, the lantern, and the compass. Um, and I did cut these out of, um, full top paper, so it's a little bit hard to see some of them, and I apologize for that, but this compass actually has an N, S, E, and W for the north, south, east, and west, and then I put an enamel dot there. Some of this stuff does have more pieces for them, but since I'm mass producing and had to make, um, roughly 20 gnomes, <laughs> see, here's all the stuff. Um, that's all my other ones, so this ain't even all I made. Um, it's a lot. So, I didn't, I did draw in my little details like normal. I didn't, um, I didn't really ink or anything on these because this is a lot. Um, and it is a mini swap, so you have to keep it flat. So, I didn't pop anything up with foam tape or anything like that. Um, but that's pretty much what we're gonna make. Um, so, here's the pieces, have the base, and then the hat, and they're all different colors because I took and used my scraps, so, um, there's the little nose, and then this one's going to be holding a camera, um, and this camera actually has more pieces to it, but I only cut out three of them, but I think it has this little tiny piece. And then a little bitty piece, I think, for the shutter. Um, but And maybe even a, another circle for the inside. I don't know. But it's a lot. And to be that detailed, it just ain't going to happen, y'all. Like, not for a mini swap. I just don't have that kind of time um, to do all those little bitty pieces. Um, if I was just doing a few, then yeah, sure. But it's a lot. <laughs> so... Um, I do give away a piece every week, um, to be qualified, all you have to do is just leave me a, um, comment below on this video. So, that is only for my channel. I don't think any of the other creators, um, do a giveaway of their piece, but if they wanted to, that would be fun. <laughs> Um, I just, I mean, it's no big deal to make one more. I am going to ink this one up. Just because it was hard for me not to do all the other ones. This hat does have another layer um, that can go over it. But I didn't cut it out. I just kept it simple. So, and then I'm going to ink up the mustache and the beard. Just to give it a little bit of dimension. So, if you want to win this one, um, like I said, just leave me a comment below. And you'll be entered. Let me know which one um, is your favorite out of all these, what they're holding. I really like the camera, of course. 
Um, but I also really like um, the one holding the map. I think that one's probably my favorite. But the map was really hard. The pieces didn't really line up. Or I couldn't get them to. <laughs> it could have just been user error. I was... I honestly got a little overwhelmed doing this one. Um, because there were so many and there's so many moving parts. Um, that's like there's one, two, three, four, five, six six pieces just to cut the base and that's not counting the feet and then if i wanted to do the legs on it it was one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten pieces just to do these legs and shoes so half of them got legs and half of them just got plano shoes um just so i could get through it <laughs> so there's a variety no telling which one you'll get if you actually sign up for the swaps and get on my teams. I am going to add a little bit of ink right here for the fold of his hat is. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm still in frame and y'all can see me. Okay. Put his beard on. And then his mustache. And let's see here. I think since this is going to be the piece you win and I'm going to be mailing it, I am going to pop it up a little bit. Just because y'all know I like, I like popping them up, making them more dimensional. Um, and I am out of the very low profile uh, foam dots so i'm just back to using my dollar tree foam <laughs> so i'll usually like to pop up the feet and the mustache and usually the nose just because you know it would all be at different levels in real life actually i need to put this down near the bottom so i can stick it on there And add his little foot. And then add this little foot. I move it down to the bottom. And sometimes I'll even add glue over the foam tape. Because it does remove. I mean, it's okay. It'll stay, but it does remove fairly easy. Okay, so then for the camera, you just add on this center piece. Actually, I think I might pop it up. Now that I've done put glue, I'm going to add a little bit more. Alright, we'll pop that up. That'll be cute. And then, um, just glue this on. it down a little bit all right and then it's nose um i'll probably just glue the nose to the mustache right here because since it's already popped up and then it'll make it popped up there's that and then the hands i kind of want to pop them up too so let's just do that There's his little hands on. And then, I think I will probably pop him up, pop the camera up off of him. But before I put all this on there, covering up stuff, I'm going to go ahead and do my detail line work. Just using a white pen. 
Y'all know I like to just go in and add the little extras. It gives them a little personality. And then do around the shoes. And then, you know, you can always go in and do a little bit on the beard if you want. But most of that's going to be covered up, so I'm not going to worry about it. And then with this, I just went in and I just colored in where this other little piece is supposed to go. Because technically, it would be your flash on a camera. So, I just colored it in white. I added a little line here. You know, just put in some little marks. Um, whoops, I marked my hand. And then, um, I just drew a half circle here so that it looks like a reflection on the camera. But you could totally take and, um, use some liquid glass. What's it called? Um, it's not, I always call it liquid glass because that's what it used to be when it first came out. Um, what is it called? Um, oh, my brain. Glossy accents. There we go. You could totally take some glossy accents, and I might actually do that, and put it over the lens so that you actually have. And um, you could do the same thing with, like, the end of the binoculars, um, you know, the lantern, like the center part of the lantern so that it looks like glass. Um, just the little details, you know, if you're not making a lot and you have the time to spare to put into a bunch of, um, things, you, you know, it's totally doable to, um, add all the little accents that just give them their personality and jazz them up a little bit. Let's see here. Of course, it's stopped up. About time for a new bottle. Let's see if it'll come out now. Nope. Still not. That's okay. I'll get it unstopped and do it off camera. But of course, I'll post close-ups at the end um, of the little gnomes. Sign-up starts tomorrow. Over on Ginger's Corner, if you want to play along, there's no telling what everyone will do since it's just a manly thing. Um, so, thank you guys for hanging out with me today. And remember, comment below if you want a chance to win this little feller. Um, and until next time, bye y'all.